year, everyone. Well, by the time this video comes out, it might be a few weeks into 2024, but that's okay. It is January 2nd when I'm filming this, so it's still Happy New Year time to me. As you all know, we got several snakes last year to add to our collection, whether we bought them from breeders, whether breeders generously gave them to us, whether they were surrendered to our Adoption Island program and we fell in love and adopted them ourselves. But anyway, today we figured we would give you an update on how those new additions are doing. First up is Diamond, who is our super dwarf reticulated python. Hi! How are you doing, cutie? You look so good. All right, she's not spoiled at all. She's got enrichment everywhere. Hi, how are you? Oh, sorry, did I spook you? Were you sleeping? I saw your tongue flick, so I don't think you were sleeping. You're such a good girl, though. So Diamond here was given to us, or I think she's more of a breeding loan in the future once she's of breeding age, which she looks like she's close to it. But she was given to us by Garrett with Reach Out Reptiles. Diamond here is an albino tiger, purple tiger, I think technically. She has not the diamonds down her back. She has more of the like conjoined blotches, which is part of the tiger morph from what I understand. And obviously she's an albino, but she's a really pretty albino in that, uh, it's tough to see on camera. She looks yellow and white on camera, but in person, oh, you can kind of see it there. More purpley colors around the yellow. Here, let me take her out of her bin so we can see her up close a bit better. Here she is. Yes, here's Diamond. She's such a good girl. She's grown quite a bit with us too, actually. If I remember correctly, she fit in a 10 by 10 by 10 box. Oh, a smallish yeah, box. Small box. Like she was a lot smaller than this when we first got her. And I think we got her last year anyway, but she's been a wonderful addition. She is, I mean, believe it or not, a great eater. She <laughs> slams Easy. rats, frozen thawed rats without hesitation. And she's one of the only snakes in our collection that has a an exclamation point on her bin because sometimes she gets a little too excited when you reach in thinking that you have food with you. But she's such a sweet girl. She is amazing. She's actually one of our ambassador animals. Like we bring her to, into the zoo to meet people and they get to pet her and see her up close. I've brought her on the Jason show on TV and she did great there. I pretended she was a baby reticulated python because as far as the general public goes, they don't need to know what a super dwarf is when you have two minutes on screen to get an audience to like snakes. Yep. So we just called her a baby retic, but all you guys know she's a super dwarf. So I believe this is her max size, isn't it? Uh, maybe a little bit bigger, but yeah, not a whole lot. Yeah, she's really close to adult size, if not already there. But yeah, she is fantastic. I love her so much. And yeah, she has been a wonderful addition to snake discovery. Next up is Raziel, the male leucistic hog. No, so he's right here. Hi. Hi, buddy. Come here. You are so sassy. Look at that cobra hood you've got going. All right, let's head over to the light where you might see him a bit better. Here he is, still tiny and cute. I mean, we've only had him since October, so, so two months, two and a half months, but he is a 2023 baby, and he is leucistic, which is like the holy grail of hognose morphs. And right the now. Right now, yes, currently. Uh, they also, the leucistic morph is known for having blue eyes, so they are really a blue-eyed leucistic morph. And he is awesome at eating. He's taking frozen thawed pinkies. He did like, I think the day after we got him, we offered him a pinky just to see what he would do. And he took it. He's out of quarantine now. This is the newest snake that we're going to be showing you today. But yeah, he is now out of quarantine. He's explorative. He does hood up a bit and show some tood when you initially go into his bin. But that's okay as long as he's a good eater. We are very excited to be breeding him in the future and may or may not have gotten some uh, other, other that snakes that will go well with him. Something weird about the Lucy's is you can see right where their heart is because of how light he is. See the dark spot right there? A snake's heart is about a quarter quarter to a third of the way down their body so that if you can see a dark spot on camera here-ish, that is where his heart is. I think it's up there actually. Yeah. And then you can actually, if you hold him up to the light, you can see his other organs too. Oh, and there's his previous meal is sitting right in there too. It's so, so weird. Yeah, there's his heart right there. So he's an oddball snake, but gorgeous and amazing. He was very generously given to us by Snakeful Grace and he is a dream hog nose of our head. This has been a dream hog nose for a while. And now we have a Lucy. So yeah, Raziel is doing very well. 
Okay, next up is a snake that I don't think you guys have met yet. This one was given to us by JSA Reptiles, who is a local ball python breeder. Fantastic ball python Amazing breeder. Amazing <laughs> breeder. But you'll probably see why they weren't able to sell this snake, but thought of us that maybe we could use him as an educational mm. animal instead. Here he is. He's gorgeous, first off. He is, if I remember correctly, a freeway morph? Yeah, he's a freeway morph, but let's bring him in the light so you can see something. All right, looks like a normal ball python, right? Yeah. You're gonna start at the tail, kind of go work your way up here. Looks beautiful, Nothing looks good, looks perfect. looks perfect. Go all the way over and oh, look at that. Oh, no. He doesn't have eyeballs. He's Ooh. missing some important features of he, that face. He sure is. So his name is Blind Intersection. Of course, he's a freeway morph. I came up with that name. I'm quite proud of that one, actually. Just gonna throw that out there, right. Ed. Because usually our fans are more creative than I am uh, and come up with better names, but I think this is a perfect name for him. Now, despite not having eyes, he can still eat just fine. He can still sense his surroundings just fine. Mostly thanks to his tongue, you know, for a sense of smell, and these heat pits on his upper lip. Those pits, or pit organs, sense the infrared heat are surrounding him so he can see you know in infrared vision the heat of his surroundings which helps him find his prey now understandably he only eats live prey for us even if i heat up like a mouse or a rat he doesn't want it i think since he relies so much on his heat pits rather than eyes to see his prey he needs his prey to replicate exactly a live rodent like what he would see in the wild so he eats live for us only we've been trying to do frozen thawed hasn't taken it but that's okay he is yeah. a wonderful snake a yeah. great eater other Otherwise, and he is also an ambassador animal for us. If you look really close, you can see where his eyes are supposed to be. He's got like a little indent right there. And the same thing, look, he doesn't even mind me move, moving his head around. Yeah. Same thing right there. there. Water drop where his eyes supposed oh, to he be does. Right Let now. me wipe that away. There we go. Look, your eyeball's supposed to be right there. It's weird that there's not like a cap or like a scale that's clear. Oh, yeah, he's missing the scale altogether. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Yeah, but he sheds just fine. He eats fine. He's pooping. It, everything is fine except for the fact that he doesn't have eyes. Yeah, it's he, like someone who was born without hearing or vision. They yeah. don't know any different, I guess. Yep, they adapt. They're just yep. fine. Reptiles are very resilient. I don't know why we give him a hide because he can't see his hide sure. anyway, but he does use it, so mm -hmm. I guess he has one. He feels around and he just feels for the Yeah, top. I think he still appreciates his hide, I guess, because he can feel it touching him all the way around, so he still feels secure even though he can't see it or sense any difference in light versus dark. But yeah, he is yeah, wonderful. Chunky. Oh, yeah. Well, he doesn't need many. Oh, actually, it's not really, it's not squish, it's muscle. Yeah, he is a good, good All snake. Right. Next up is our sable hog nose. Hello, cutie. This is Rosie. Oh, jeez. Oh, yep, doing what she's known for. Yeah, she's good at that. Yeah, she sure is. Rosie here, you know what? I guess I'll just walk her over yeah, into the yes, light. We'll just make this clip a little longer. Okay, there we go. that works. Well, as you may remember, she did this exact same thing mm. when we got her from the Tinley Show. She was uh, purchased from a fan overseas for us at the Tinley Show. It was really, really unique situation. She was bought for us by Xanth a fan of ours. Mm, this and is the best time for me. I actually get to touch this snake now. Oh yeah, she has oh, a... Hi cutie. This is also... Do anything to me because your mouth is already full. She's already occupied. Yeah. Look at that. Good job. Bite Emily. Yeah. She deserves it sometimes. This is what she does every time you open the bin because she has a great appetite. I know that's hard to believe, but she eats every single time we what? offer her food. And we kind of thought she would because she did this at a show Ow. Oh, she, she, she jumped down there. Nah, she's just gonna do it again. It's fine. But yeah, she is a sable. She is het albino, so she can make sunbursts in the future. And at the Her, end of this, we'll get to see if Emily's finger is swollen up. Yeah, this will be a fun experiment, yeah, I guess. It's pretty, uh... Yeah. She's pretty on there. She sure is. Her name is Rosie in memory of Xanthi's mom, if I remember correctly. And Rosie is a wonderful snake. I wonder if the real Rosie liked to eat. Oh, I wonder. Yeah, we'll have to ask Xanthi yeah. if uh, Rosie's personality matches with yeah. this Rosie. But yeah, she's gorgeous and she's growing fast. I mean, she was just a hatchling when we got her at, I believe it was the March Tinley. So we've had her for about nine months now. Ow. <laughs> she's chewing down again. She's doing the thing. Okay. All right. Well, here's a well, trick for getting home noses to let go of you. They're actually not too difficult. You don't have to use the vodka trick, which does work really well, but you don't have to do it for hog noses because they have a nice little uh, handle here. Typically, all you have to do is slightly push up on their nose. Come on, girl. Oh, you're going to prove me wrong? This no. She has to usually I works. I have a good meal here. No, you can't eat my finger. I'm sorry. You can't stop me. <laughs> no, no, don't you <laughs> it again. Oh my gosh. No, let go. Let go. 
Let go. We're going to push you back. Nope, 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 nope. Let, let go. Pinkies are ah, more. Ah, nope, it's nope. food. Okay. No, we're going to push you back. You can't chew on me anymore. I'm sorry, Rosie. You have to go back in your bin. We she might need to be socialized a little bit more. Maybe just a little. She might eat her boyfriend. I love her so much. Why, why are you, uh... Looking nervous. This is Clyde, the black-headed python that we got at the Tinley Show in October. We bought him because he's going to eventually be paired to Inky, our female adult black-headed python in the zoo. Oh look, he thinks you're a tasty meal. Yeah, dude, I just got bit by Rosie. I don't need to get bit by you too. Just I gonna say that. He begs to differ. Mm -hmm. He's a good eater. Actually, he's <laughs> looking at the mic. Yeah, you can't eat the mic. <laughs> That's not food. That I'm sorry. That's not tasty you, foods. You can't eat that. Oh, that's a good shot, though. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, Clyde here is doing wonderfully. He is also out of quarantine, eating frozen thawed just fine, which blackheadeds are reptile eaters a bit in the wild in Australia, so they can be picky eaters when it comes to rodents and captivity. But no issues with him so far. He is doing really well, so we just have to take care of him, kind of forget about him for a few years until he's magically an adult, yeah. and then we can hopefully pair him with Inky. So kind of a fun fact about black-headed pythons, the reason why they have a black head is because they spend a lot of time in burrows in the wild and in the cooler parts of the day, which are few and far between in Australia, they stick just their head out and they have a black head to absorb more heat from the sun so that their entire body doesn't have to come out to bask. They can stay safe in their burrow just with their head poking out. Weird, do you think that would be more of a northern thing, not an Australian thing? Yeah, but, I know, okay. it's hot in Australia. I don't get, oh, no, 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 we're not, well, okay. He's going after your watch. He's impressed by your watch that you got off of the uh, oh, fan, mail. fan mail. Yeah, sent by our mystery fan in Washington. Yeah. yeah. How cool. He's like, wow, this thing is so pretty. <laughs> It's so sleek. It's yeah. just like me. I'm blending in. I, maybe he just likes other black things because yeah. the mic is black. My watch is black. We'll see if he tries to eat me, I yeah. guess. Okay. Next up, we have a hog nose snake. Surprise, surprise. Ooh. Oh, wait. This one was technically 2022. Oops. Oh, that's fine. Well, yeah, we'll include we, him anyway. We haven't done an update on this one in a while. That's true. Here he is. I don't know what he's doing, but, you This know. is our sunburst morph hog nose. This little cutie was given to us by Tom Harbin who is one of our favorite hognose breeders. He regularly attends the big reptile shows and he was generous enough to give us this little hognose male or this sunburst male. He's a little bit smaller than I'd like for his age because he went through quite a uh, hunger strike for a little while, but he's eating again now. So, I mean, that's, I guess, what's important. He ate really well at first. Then he took a hiatus for several months and it was a struggle to get him to eat again, but now he is eating regularly again yep. and it's winter. So it's an odd time for him to Maybe want to eat. Maybe he just thinks summer's winter and yeah. winter's Summer. Where does Tom maybe. live? Tom, I mean, he might live in the south and the. Isn't he South Carolina? Southern Hemisphere. And maybe yeah. Winters are summer. Maybe he's there. confused yeah. because of that. So he should be breeding age by now. I think maybe a little young actually. Yeah. But regardless, he's a little too small to breed. He's definitely a male. Definitely a boy with that, that long tail. tail. Very well endowed. You're gonna get all the ladies once all you're old enough. Ladies. Yeah. So he's a beautiful sunburst. Our goal is to produce sunburst someday. That's like a bucket list item for us. So we have a nice example of what one yes. looks like. Yes. So this is our end goal is this to make one. camera is really funny too because when I focus on him, the camera makes his colors pops and like fade everything else. It's really strange. Well, that's right. Yeah, I remember unboxing him on camera. He looked even prettier on yeah. camera, which is unusual for hog noses. Usually their colors are a bit like muted. Yeah, on camera. Definitely grayed out. But yeah, here's our sunburst hog. He's yeah. doing great. We're back in front of the miscellaneous rack. We are. Miscellaneous snakes. This yeah. is actually, I think, our last time filming all these snakes in this that's building. That's true. Emily's kind of giving away what our thing is. Maybe that video will come out before this. I we don't have think a, it will. I don't know. We'll find out. Well, I'm there's a little sneak peek. Push for it not coming out before this one. Okay. <laughs> so we also have from the Tinley Show last October the yellow anaconda. Oh, look at him. Hi, buddy. Can I'm gonna... you just reach in and grab him? Um, I'm going to take this out <laughs> and reach in directly from above instead of from in front. Grab in front. No, I don't think I will. Hi, buddy. Oh, look how cute he is. Yeah, he's known for oh. having an at attitude as well. Oh my gosh, you're okay. Usually they don't bite the tree they're on. Is he going to bite? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, go after me. He just wants the camera. Yeah, yeah. don't I'm bite moving. me. All right, cool. Oh, so this wow. is our so fast without any warning. <laughs> this is our yellow anaconda, 
Anacondas in general, we learned this with Tiny, our green, they are very fast strikers and yes. they strike like out of the blue. They strike with no warning. Yeah. So, like, no tensing, no nothing, and yeah. he struck. He didn't yeah. strike very good there, but. Yeah, well, he still, this way, he tried. No strike, uh, no warning. Yeah, so the yellow anaconda is the smaller of the two species of anacondas. The greens being the heaviest snake in the world, heaviest snake species. Oh my gosh, and, she's going uh, for you. Are you really gonna, you don't have to do this. It's just a bluff, right? What oh, you thank you. So if you call his bluff, maybe he doesn't he bite. He just wanted to give you Kisses. Aw, kisses. Aww, give you some sweet kisses. Thank you, buddy. Yeah. Oh, you and beat yourself you there. Uh, so they're not that bright, no. guys. Most snakes aren't that bright. Anacondas are not smart at no. all, but they're cute, so that's okay. Now this guy, who I believe still needs a name, I don't have a name on his tag anyway, he was given to us by our fan Grant at the Tinley Show, because Grant just wasn't able to keep him anymore, you know, life changes and your uh, snakes that you have in the collection change over time, so he asked if we wanted this dude, and we said yes. Now the only downside to this snake is his attitude. Yep. He is a great eater, eats every single time, thinks things are food when they're not food, like including family. fingers. But he is good other than the whole biting thing. Yeah. So he's, you know, he's growing. These are slow growing snakes too. So it's gonna take him quite a while to reach his max size of, I believe they get around eight-ish feet. Hopefully um, he doesn't, uh go on hunger strikes like Tiny does. Yeah, he doesn't seem to mind moving. He ate the day after we brought him back okay. from the show. So I think he won't mind tank upgrades, unlike Tiny, our green anaconda, who's down here. Yeah, we finally got him moved into a halfway decent enclosure. Yeah, it took months before he finally started eating in this one because he thought this was That's too big tiny. for him. Oh, never mind. That <laughs> is a false water cobra. Hey, it's the bottom one. Here he is. Oh, oh there he there's is. the big boy. Yeah, there's Tiny, guys. He, I think, is uh, I want to move him into the zoo, but it took so long for him to start eating in this bin that I'm worried he's going to go off feed for another six months in the zoo. But here you can kind of see the color differences. We've yep. got the green anaconda, the heaviest species of snake in the world, and the don't bite yourself. <laughs> the yellow anaconda. And the yellow anaconda, who the is- The smaller cousin. <laughs> exactly. Next, we have Donut, which is a snake you haven't met yet either, I don't think. Donut is a boa constrictor. Normal boa constrictor. Just a big normal. As some of you know, we retired Doug from programs. He's getting pretty old, so his retirement home is now in the zoo. He replaced uh, Jupiter in our boa constrictor exhibit, yep. which means he's now retired and just on display, so we needed another nice friendly big boa to go to schools and scouts and libraries and attend birthday parties. Is Donut a female? Donut is a female, she's yes. A big blocky head. She does. She has a, you know, she's young and spry. She was born in 2019, so she's this year five years old. Okay. So she's a nice boa constrictor yeah. and she's like not big head shy. And so she was surrendered to our adoption program. She, I think, just got too big for her previous home, it was. But once we realized how nice she is, we're like, oh, she can be a replacement for Doug. We have another replacement named Carl, who's been doing programs for a while. But it's nice uh, to have a years. couple boas, yeah, to flip-flop in between to give one a break. Yeah. But she Plus we have two educators who go out. That's right, yeah, sometimes we're doing two programs at once, and the grand finale at our programs is usually a big boa. So we needed a second big boa in case we have two programs booked. Yeah. So yeah, she was perfect. Perfect She's for the a job. Big normal girl. Yeah, yeah, but such a big sweetheart. Yeah. Look at her, her face. Her eyes look funny. Yeah, she has split colored eyes. Yeah. Do you see how it's like down, like top half, bottom half? Can you kind of see there? She's got like top half light colored, bottom half dark colored. Yeah. Helps blend into the other patterns uh, or markings on her face. It's really cool. So she's currently in this bin. <laughs> but she has definitely outgrown that bin. Yes. So. so when we move a lot of our snakes, which you'll learn more about soon, Donut is going to move into the, one of these six foot yeah. enclosures. Yeah, so I mean, she's taken out just about every day for programs, so she doesn't need like a 20 foot long enclosure, no. but we still want a nice big roomy enclosure for her to consider home in between programs. All right, who's in this super humid, dirty enclosure? <laughs> this guy is a terror sometimes because he makes a huge mess, but he's such a sweetheart, he gets away with it. Aww. This is... Oh, scared him. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to spook you. This is Dewey. Like, I was taking a bath. Yeah. Excuse you. <laughs> Sorry, did I interrupt your bath time? Yeah, don't interrupt bath time. Sorry. That's an important time. Sorry. You got something in your eye there, bud. Can we clean that off for yeah. you? There you go. <laughs> Dewey here, you've met maybe a couple of times so far. We got him last year as a surrender. Oh, Christmas video. Yeah, Christmas video. I think he made his debut in one of our herping videos. Yeah. Oh. Uh, an intro to it. 
just because okay. I was, wanted to hold a reptile. Anyway, I think you've seen him a couple times. He was surrendered to Adoption Island last year, and we all fell in love with him because he's yeah. so stinking cute. Big sweetheart. He loves to eat everything, which yeah. is also fun to work with. He's a monitor thing. Yeah, he is a Dumeril's monitor, which is somewhat more of a water-based monitor. So we're working and planning on a different enclosure for him than just the six foot. So one of the uh, really cool things about this species is since they are a, spe er, a type of monitor that loves to swim in the water, their tail is vertically compressed or like flattened and it so acts as much yeah. shorter. Yeah, so it's like a paddle for them and helps them swim. So we have an idea for where we want to put him, but we'll have to show you that later. Yeah, he's very interested in you. He is. He's so curious. He goes into the zoo as an ambassador animal to meet guests just about every day. Yep. He's 15 years old, so he's up there in age. Hi. Yes, you're very he's cute. Like, Can I crawl on their head? <laughs> this is why I think all of our staff has fallen in love with him because he is so curious and so yep. personable. But yeah, this is the last animal that I can think of that isn't in oh, brumation. Wait, two things. What? Uh, first, how's your finger doing? Oh yeah, fingers, fingers. Yeah. Uh, she bit this one, but I don't think it's really no, they swelling look, they up. Look the same. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah, all right, cool. What was all your right. second thing? We have to go try a lavender with this camera. Oh yeah. How about oh, you? Ooh, you're pretty. How do you show up on camera? Are you still pretty gray? Uh, still looks pretty silver. Still pretty silvery, yeah. A little better though. Yeah. I think I can see some purples. A little bit. Uh, how about we look at this one? This is a nice. Uh... Yeah, they look exanthic. Oh, do they? <laughs> yeah, the camera adjusted. Oh, lame. Here, maybe I'll come up here and get color. Okay. Okay, okay your color's coming back. Yep. Now we'll go down. Mm. Eh. Not really. Okay, still too All silver right. on screen to so really about, tell. About what we expect. We tried. We tried. Sorry. New camera <laughs> also doesn't do their colors justice nope. again. But it's a much better camera, so it's fine. What but... about their bellies? Show their belly for a second. Oh, the bellies look kind of right. Do okay. they? Okay. Yeah. Yes, well, there's an improvement. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you have it. Updates on some of the snakes that we acquired last year. The rest are either still in quarantine or uh, in brumation right now, so we just can't film for various reasons. Or we have a couple that are a surprise that we're saving as a surprise for yeah, later until exactly. something happens with them. Thank you for watching today's video. Let us know in the comments below which animal in today's video was your favorite because we're always curious. Uh, I don't know what mine would be. I love them all, honestly. Yeah, they're all great. Yeah. Thank you, Patreon backers, for your amazing support. And we'll see you next time. Lavender Hoggies. <laughs>